Hey, how's it going, brothers and sisters in Christ? So this video tonight is going to be about Big Pharma and why God is unpleased with what they're doing. So the Bible actually talks about uh, these medications. Well, it doesn't talk about particular medications, but it talks about sorcery and witchcraft. So when you look up uh, pharmakia in Greek, it means witchcraft, it means sorcery, it also means potion. Now what is potion? Pretty much potion is pretty much like a like a spell that can cure you. It's like a spell that you uh, that that you take like a medicine um that that can cure you if it's not uh, from God. So all these medications like good for that's uh they have us take for headaches, uh depression, and anxiety, like any pharmaceutical drug, honestly. It's potion. And what is potion? Potion is sorcery. And it's related into that witchcraft category. And the Bible talks about this actually in Exit um, in Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. You shall not permit a sorceress to live. I'm going to read it again. You shall not permit a sorceress to live. And what do we do? Uh, every day when we have a headache we go to the doctor we go to Walmart or to a story we get some headache medicines right or if we got a fever we take some you know medicine for that if we're sick we take medicine this is how deception the world is right now unfortunately and I didn't know about this until I did some research about this because I feel like hey okay God wants us to trust us and have faith with us I don't think he feels comfortable for us taking these medicines because we have the authority Jesus Christ gave us the authority to heal ourselves right you just have to have faith you first you got to submit to God you got to submit to Jesus Christ as your is your Lord and Savior and you got to stop sinning now what I mean by stop sinning like you got to not live by this world you got to like repent and try to you know stop your addictions like try you know we cannot be perfect in the flesh but when you not live by the world and you live by the spirit of Christ that's a true Christian and once you have that he's going to give you access to heavenly places he's going to give you rewards he's going to bless you he, you're, he's going to give you trials more trials that way you can build yourself up so when things happen like bad things happen it's just because God is trying to build you up trying to teach you a lesson you know so anyway back to the video though but yeah big pharma is this pure satanic man you know, it, first of all, it goes against God, you know, because we're relying on man over Jesus, right? Because we have that authority to heal ourselves. When you trust in him, you can heal yourself through Jesus' name. I did it. I used to have tinnitus. I did it. It works. You just have to have that faith. So what Big Pharma is doing is this a witchcraft company that goes against God and they charge a lot of money for these drugs especially the drugs that you know actually help with major problems with the body right and you can you, you all you just have to do is just trust in God and submit to him get your life with him and not of this world and he will heal you you know I'm not saying he will heal you right instantly you know he can heal you however he wants you but he will heal you you just got to have faith in you know give your life to him you know do not live by this world. You know, the Bible talks about this. So Big Pharma is pretty much, you know, a satanic, you know, witchcraft occult, you know, honestly. I mean, it's just crazy, man. You know, so for those that's taking medicines, you know, I mean, why would these medicines have, like, all these side effects, right? You know, some Balta, right? Some Balta is, like, for depression, you know. You know, I used to see it on TV, some Balta can help. And then they announced, like, some Balta can give you suicidal thoughts. But it's for depression, so what's the whole point of taking Zabalta if it's going to give you suicidal thoughts? And then you're going to have other, like, other 10 side effects. Come on, man. There's a reason why we have these side effects. It's because our body's reacting in a bad way. And they, the doctors tell you it's normal. It's not normal. There's, there's common side effects that they say is normal, but it's not. And then they got the severe side effects. All right? Our teachers taught us this in school. They're both bad. All right? The severe side effects can, like, maybe have you, uh, like, trigger a heart attack but they're still both bad you know you got to trust god you got to trust in jesus christ do his will 
spread the gospel because we are living in, in the last days guys we are living in the last days you know so for those that's taking medication right now i mean you know just trusting the god just trusting the lord man just submit to him if you don't if you haven't accept jesus christ right now as your lord and savior now's the time man you know because we don't know when he's coming and we don't know when we're going to die right so just accept him right now you know just for the sake of your soul man because we are living in spiritual warfare. We do not just wrestle against flesh and blood, but principalities and power and darkness. All right, and this is by the Bible. All right, demons are real. Angels are real. God is real. All right, I've seen demons. They're really real. Hell's real. If you don't die with Christ and you just die of your sin, no repentance, you're going straight to hell. I'm just being honest with you guys, you know. It's just time to wake up. It's time to help and support each other, right? For those that are struggling, that needs prayer, any if you have any diseases, whatever you're going through, put it in the comment section below, all right? Because I like praying for people. I like helping people. So I'll pray for you guys. I always pray for my YouTube audience, you know, just let me know what's going on, and I'll pray for you, whatever illness, sickness, because, like, I'm done taking pharmaceutical drugs. Like, after when I found this out recently, I'm like, okay, I'm not taking no more headache medicine, because I used to take headache medicine, you know, but... I always had a feeling like I should trust God, though. You know, Jesus Christ. If I can heal myself through Jesus' name, then I don't need this. And th that's another thing, too. Like, when you take these pharmaceutical drugs, a spirit enters you. It's an unclean spirit. It's called the spirit of witchcraft. How I know? Because I used to do witchcraft years ago. All right? So if if, if this, if the Bible talks about it, you know, if this, like I said, you know, if pharmaceuticals, witchcraft, then you're, a lot of people are allowing these witchcraft spirits in them. No, no wonder everybody's cursed and it's crazy, man. It's, just, it's dangerous. Anything witchcraft is so dangerous. All right, I'm telling you. I used to be in this stuff. It's so dangerous. And I love you guys so much to tell you guys about, you know, what's going on in the big pharma because witchcraft is no joke, man. And these pharmaceutical drugs are potions. All right, these are potions. So literally, these are potions. And it's not of God. It's by man. So... You know, these guys got to be careful, man. Just, you know, just read the Bible. The Bible tells us, you know, everything. Why the world is like this, you know. It tells us, you know, about our enemy, Satan, right? So, I'm going to end this video right now. You know, God bless. And, you know, like I said, leave some, leave a comment if you guys need some prayer. And I'll review the comments. You know, God bless you guys.